Hello and Happy New Year and welcome to a Blender tutorial where I show you how to turn a 2D artwork into 3D space. Um, I've never been very good at drawing or drawing in perspective but it turns out that my lack of perspective here is a bit of a blessing. Now you just need to draw a picture, any picture. I've chosen to do a facade of a of a building with a, a street outside but the main thing that you need to realize uh, when you're doing this is don't add any perspective uh, don't try to make the picture 3d uh, make it look like you know it's just all 2d now once we're in blender we can import that if we go control and a we can go image image as plane and the top right um, we will see a little arrow if we're in viewport mode we can click on the arrow and in the drop down we can change from material color to texture color now I'm going to go into edit mode and I'm going to pull this up by pressing G and Z and moving my mouse until the cobblestones and the door meet on the uh, point of the uh, Z and X meeting we can go into X-ray mode by pressing Alt and Z or, or choosing it from that drop down. And then we can press S to scale. Uh, to get it, I've got these two reference uh, guys here in the screen. Um, they, they are helping me uh, figure out what the correct size is. Now I'm adding loop cuts by pressing Control and R. Um, if you press GG, um, you can slide the loop cut without um, stretching the image. and a vast majority of what we're going to be doing is cutting out the different components, separating them from the original object, and then 3Difying them. So it's all very simple stuff. This is basic Blender. Um, I'm just moving a few of the uh, vertices around here by pressing 1 and going into vertex mode. Um, and as you can see, I'm cutting out the door. So we'll be doing this with all the different components. Um, the door and the window. I'm going to select these two piece pieces and then I'm going to press shift and D to uh, make a duplicate and then I'm going to press P and then separate by selection. So now we've got two objects. One is the door and one is the main object. Now we're going to do that with the, the ground as well as we're going to do it with the window. Okay. Right now I've pressed forward slash and I've gone and isolated the door and I'm just cutting out the frame. Now there's a little bit of UV editing that goes on here as well. So when we extrude this door frame, it doesn't have any texture because there was no paint there in the first place. So what you'll see is that there's no texture. So we need to put a texture there and the way that we'll do that is we'll use the textures that we've already painted uh, by doing a little bit of clever or hacky uh, UV work. So we're going to extrude along the normals and you can see right now, right away, some of the textures are stretched on the inside of the door frame and some of it doesn't have anything at all. So right now I'm um, in pressed 2 to go into edge mode and I'm just clicking these um, edges and then I'm going to right click the edge context menu and mark as a seam. Now when I select all of those faces and click unwrap you can well you can see that the uh, it's not unwrapped yet and we basically have one dimensional UV map so once we do click unwrap um, you'll see that the planks uh, so to speak um, all uh, come out so we are now unwrapped it, we've used those seams, and now we have all of the different planks. Now we're going to stack these one by one, and through movie magic we have fast forward it. Then we're going to rotate and scale those planks, and we're just going to... We've stacked them all on top of each other, and we're just putting them all on that top plank. Um, you can move it around how you want, but we're not really going to have any uh, problems with that. Now we're going to separate the floor. <laughs> and we're going to rotate it on the x-axis so now we have a ground so separating it the same way that we did before and moving it around a little bit doesn't matter if you stretch cobblestones because they're not perfect in the in the first place um, 
and what we'll do and uh, we're just mirroring it here but I might have uh, um, cut this part out of the tutorial um, now we are dissolving uh, the main uh, edges by pressing X into the delete menu and choosing dissolve edges so we're back to just a four vertex plane and we're gonna add a circle in in object mode and we're going to rotate it on the x-axis and we're going to select all the vertices in edit mode and press F to add a face. Then we're just going to put it above the window or where the window is. And we're going to maybe go into x-ray mode and try and scale this. Um, or maybe not go into x-ray mode and try and scale this on, on into the right size. Um, we're going to give it the same material as the main image and then we're going to unwrap it in edit mode and check uh, project from view. Now it hasn't unwrapped quite how as we expected it would. Um, so we're going to go into UV editing mode. Okay. And we're going to move that circle of UV, uh, that UV circle. And we're going to scale it where the window is in the image. Okay, and it, just getting that right might take a couple of, uh, you know, a little bit of gentle pushing and pulling. But now we have a window and we're going to inset by pressing I to where the panes of the window meet the frame of the, the window. And then we're going to cut the panes out using the knife tool. So you can activate the knife tool by pressing K on your keyboard. And then you just click and you attach it to existing vertices or you can halfway down an edge. Um, and once we've done all four of those, we're going to use the G and G method to slide a few of the vertices around uh, to get it matching uh, the image better. And then once, uh, that, once that's all done, we're going to select all four of the panes and we're going to extrude them inwards so uh, by pressing alt e again um, and if you're not sure you can follow along in the bottom left on the screencast keys and see what buttons i'm pressing as i as i do all of this um, now we're going to use the same trick that we did before on the door uh, to get the um, correct uh, or to get some texture onto the inside and outside parts of the frame that we just extruded. I'm going to add a, um, a loop cut and I'm going to start I'm going to start chopping out these bricks I believe. I've sped this up with the knife tool once again. It's quite a laborious process but you feel like you've done something when it's done. Now we're going to press I and I again to inset our bricks. Okay, so that's I and I again, and we're going to press Alt and E, and then we're going to extrude along the normals, and just a little bit, and then we're going to bevel, okay, and then we're going to right click and shade smooth, okay, we're not going to do the inside of the bricks, because um, you're not going to see it, um, it is stretched textures, but you you won't see it, so... It's not a big issue in this scenario. Knowing when to stop is sometimes um, a, a hard choice because uh, you've got to have a context of what you're going to be looking at and from how far. We're doing the same again uh, with the cobblestones. Okay, we've used a mirror modifier on the Y axis to extend these. So there is a little bit of a, a mirroring effect, but for my shot, it doesn't really matter. You can't really tell. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is how you make a 2D painting into a 3D object. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please like and subscribe um, or leave a comment below. Thanks a lot and see you in the next one.